Hi there, Joey from dayjobhacks.com. Today I'm gonna to talk about 10 free affiliate marketing tools that can help you make more money online. These are tools that I use every day in my business and I think when I first started, if I would have had a list of 10 free tools that I can use, it would have been great because at the time I was completely strapped for cash and I needed information on how to get this stuff. So I wanna share that with you today. These are 10 tools that you can use to build your affiliate marketing business. It's great for CPA affiliates, especially because a lot of this stuff will be related to buying ads as well as seeing what's going on out there and trending and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so tool number one, let's talk about free spy tool. This one is the Facebook ads library. It's a great tool to spy on what is happening in Facebook ads. You couple that with the free audience insights that is available inside of your Facebook ad account and you go into audience insights, check your niche keywords inside the audience insights, find pages that people also like and take those pages over to the Facebook ads library and check to see if they're running ads. This is an easy way to see what is working and where you should be heading when you're building out your own affiliate marketing campaigns. I do this all the time on campaigns that I am running on Facebook. Um, these are also ads that you can obviously use elsewhere, but it's a great way to spy for free. Tool number two, let's talk about tracking, okay? You need tracking as an affiliate marketer. There is a free tracking software that is free for a limited time until you start really scaling up. But for now, if you just want a free tracking so software, check out BMob. You can actually get it for free at dayjobhacks.com slash BMob. And you can actually join for free and I believe you can get up to a million events before you have to start paying. So if you're getting a million, a million clicks, then you, you'll probably have to start paying. Um, you can check their plan to make sure, but um, they do have a free plan as well as paid plans. So this is a great way to get started without having to spend a lot of money. Number three, let's talk hosting. How do you get free hosting? Well, free hosting is a little tough because with most free hosting providers, such as wordpress.com, if you go in there and try to host for free, you're gonna have a whole bunch of other people's ads on your websites. And no affiliate marketer wants that. If you're in this business to make money, you do not want other people making money off all of your hard work. That is why I do not recommend using a free hosting platform, make sure you use something, at least pay a little money, but there is a free option if you are good at coding. Check out github.com, okay? This is a place that you can go, G-I-T-H-U-B, just Google it and you'll find it. You can actually go in there and set up a website if you know code, okay? And you can just upload it all there and you'll have a site up for free with no ads on it, okay? But if, you are, if you're not really good at code, then you're really gonna have to find something affordable or if, you're, if you really want free, it might not be possible without having other people's ads but one of the options that I usually recommend people if they're just starting out and they don't want to spend a lot of money on hosting is to check out Bluehost you can get a free domain just go to dayjobhacks.com slash Bluehost and you can get access to that for you know a few dollars a month for hosting and that'll give you access to a free domain as well as the hosting you're going to need when you first start out especially in affiliate marketing with Bluehost they also have a very easy wizard that walks you through setting up your website within minutes so it's really one of the best places for newbies to go if you're actually looking for free hosting. The next tool, let's talk about the ads that we're setting up. How do I do that? Um, I use gimp.org, okay? I actually use that still. I started way back. It was a free program. It's a it's a basically a photo, sh uh, photo editing tool. So it has all uh, the features that really you need as an affiliate marketer or a digital marketer for, in my opinion, most of the images I use anyway are, are better when they're not professional images. To be quite honest, they perform better when I'm buying traffic. So non-professional images are actually um, not bad to use. So a lot of the images I use in uh, and, and edit in GIMP, um, I intentionally make them not professional, but if you did need professional images and um, you know, really high quality images. GIMP also allows you to do that. They have many features and tools that I don't even know what they do, but really it's a tool that you can download for free, literally not 
pay a penny and it's a very valuable tool in, in creating ads or creating images for your ads. Number five, let's talk about blogging. The best blogging tool out there is wordpress.org. Go there, you can download it, or if you use Bluehost, like I mentioned earlier, there is a one-click install inside your Bluehost account. Most hosting providers should have a one-click install for WordPress. So WordPress is excellent. It's a huge um, content management platform that allows you to basically just blog, set up posts, set up pages, and it's really easy to manage and most of the world is using WordPress on their blogs. Number six, uh, let's talk about images again. I'm going to be using Lightshot a lot. This is a, it's an application that's on my computer that allows me to hit one button on my keyboard and it allows me to either screen capture the whole entire page or I can take little sections of the page and this is a great way for me to actually find more images for my ads. I'll usually go to Google search and search images. If I'm doing an ad, let's say about refinancing a home, I might type in refinance home and I'll see a whole bunch of images on Google search. I'll click on one of those images and I will click my button from Lightshot and it'll let me just cut out a piece of that image which makes it 100% original according to the bots at Facebook or Google if you're buying traffic there. They like to see originality so if you're copying other people's pictures especially on Facebook you could be flagged if you're not using 100% original images. So this tool allows me to cut it out and then I can actually open that image inside GIMP, make a couple more edits, make sure it's the right size for my ads, and away we go. So number seven, again about images, because I use a lot of images in my marketing. Unsplash is a great service that gives you access to free, high quality images that you can use. Again, you can go in there, download them, edit them with GIMP, or you can snip them with your tool, Lightshot, and you can get more high quality images. They also have some more amateur looking images, which is great, again, for advertising in my opinion so go in there check them out they're all free number eight email marketing how do we get free email marketing software the automation all of that the auto responders well there's two options here in in my opinion number one is the best option which is aweber go to dayjobhacks.com slash aweber for a free 30-day trial now that is a free trial which means you're actually going to have to spend money later the other option is the MailChimp software, which gives you 2,000 emails a month. It's great for starting out, but it's much more pricey once you get above 2,000 emails. And that means if you have 500 emails on your list, you can only send that list four emails throughout the month and that's it or else you have to start paying. So in my opinion, the free trial for 30 days at Aweber gives you plenty of time to make your money back and then you're only spending a small fee every single month. I think it's 19, maybe $30 a month. It keeps going up depending on how many subscribers you have. But if you follow some of the tools and training that we do in the email marketing course at powerhouseaffiliate.com, you will see that you can easily make that money back quickly probably before your 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 30-day trial is up okay so to me that is free number nine let's talk about spying and competitive intelligence again this one is another trial um, there's not very many really good spy tools out there that you can have free access to forever but if you want a seven day free trial at SEM Rush. So go to dayjobhacks.com slash SEM Rush. Again, you can actually get that for seven days free. It is an exceptionally good tool for finding what your competitors are doing. So if you're into niche marketing and you're building yourself a niche marketing website, this is the tool you need. Enter your own website. It'll tell you all the problems that are going on on your website with regard to search engine optimization, but it'll also show you what your, com your competitors are bidding on, what keywords they're focused focusing on their rankings, how easy it is for you to beat them in the rankings. It'll show you their advertisements, their paid ads, everything. Seven days access is actually really good if you're just starting a project and you wanna go in there and check it out, uh, see what's actually happening. Or if you've already built your website and you just wanna see a report, go in there, get your free report at least about your website or about your competitors. And this is actually a, a great tool that you can access for free. Lastly, number 10, okay. Keyword research is huge in our business, especially if you're doing niche marketing or at, uh, search engine marketing. I'm doing YouTube right now, which is basically search engine marketing. I'm building webs, I'm building content online and I'm hoping people find it when they search certain keywords. So how do I come up with the titles for my videos? How do I come up with the titles for my blog posts so that I make sure that I'm targeting people that are actually searching for this information? I use a couple of tools. One of the best tools in my opinion is the Google 
search ads tools. So if you sign up to Google search ads for free, you can go in there and click on tools and you'll see what is called the keyword planner, okay? You can go in there, you can click on it and you can enter in any keyword about your niche or whatever topic you're thinking of and you can actually just find a bunch of keywords related to that, okay? Um, the other tool is Uber Suggest. This one was built by Neil Patel, another great tool that shows you really good insights on keywords and what types of topics you should be focusing your blog posts on or your videos or whatever other content you're putting out there online. Okay, so that is my top 10. There will be more, trust me. So make sure you subscribe to my channel, Day Job Hacks. Go down, click the subscribe button. Comment below if there's other tools that you are using that I didn't mention. I'd love to hear what you're using. I'd like to see, uh, you know, maybe some other ones that I missed um, that I should have mentioned. And maybe um, in the future, I'll do another video or maybe even test them out myself. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next videos.